In Fort Wayne now, six people inside a nursing home have tested positive for COVID-19. ABC 21's Tony Benton Jr. is following the story for us now. Tony. That's right, Brian. Behind me is the Life Care Center on Spy Run Avenue, where five residents and one worker tested positive for COVID-19. On March 29th, a resident was transported to a hospital to be tested. One week later, the results came back positive. After that, four more residents tested positive. All five of them live in the secure memory care unit. A state strike team arrived on Monday to test the residents and understand the situation there. In today's news conference, the state health commissioner was asked about it, and here's what she had to say. Realistically, we would have gone out if somebody had been listed as being symptomatic. We would have tested any individual that was symptomatic and also any workers that were there that was symptomatic. And then based on those results, if they're positives, gone back and done additional testing. And at the same time, we would have brushed up, um, you know, and looked at exactly what their infection control policies were, exactly how they're managing their patients, how they're using their PPE, and have made any recommendations of anything that need to be changed. Other nursing homes across the state are dealing with outbreaks. In Anderson, 11 patients died at the Bethany Point Nursing Home after contracting the virus. And now the state will work to understand how the outbreak began here, since the nursing home has a strict no visitor policy. And Dr. Box said that workers still have to go home and go to the grocery store, go to pharmacies, and it's possible for them to not have symptoms, but to pass it along to others. We'll have to wait for the investigation to finish. Brian? Indeed, the state asking some questions as they figure out how all of this began. Tony, thank you for the update.